I-10, we're going to look at why is the animus flooding? Remember, we didn't have a huge snow year in southwestern Colorado. So what's going on? Oh, we found out. We found out. <laughs> We've been spending all afternoon. You should see Take John. It easy. Take it easy. Yeah, our uh, graphics wizard, John Smith, over here is, uh, is working on a map that, that could drive him crazy. So if you hear some loud <laughs> oh. sort of bang situation, uh -huh. yeah. John it's could gone. be in trouble. We may need to call somebody, but it's a good map, and we'll show you this tonight at 10. It's actually really interesting stuff and what's going on up in the four corners around Durango and around Farmington. More on that in just a moment, but around the metro area, we are increasing the clouds a bit. This is what it looks like right now in Durango. Actually, a vast improvement. They've had regular rain, well over an inch of rain in this area of southwestern Colorado over the past 24 hours or so, and of course, the big time hail that fell in Farmington. Now we have those flood warnings along the Animus River where they are at flood stage right now at about 10 feet. So they are right at their flood stage. We continue with some showers tonight, and we're going to have some issues there with more flooding. And part of the issue is this storm system is right here, churning, sliding right along the state line between New Mexico and Colorado. So that's helping to produce more showers across the area, and occasionally we'll get pockets of heavy rain. That is definitely not helping the situation as those showers slide across. Northern New Mexico and Southern Colorado. 88 degrees in the metro right now. South Southwest winds at eight miles an hour. Temperatures to the north, 60s and 70s. Some 80s out east and then down across the south. It has been a very warm day. 99 in Roswell, 101 Carlsbad, 96 in Alamogordo. What a huge difference as you go farther to the north where we have those showers. Nothing near that type of heat. This system here will slide its way across throughout the night tonight, but that's not where it all ends. In fact, you've got a cold front that's going to drive through during the day tomorrow, and then we have another little trough that comes through over the weekend. The takeaway is that we're going to stay active storm wise. So even as this thing leaves, we're going to introduce more moisture as the cold front starts to work its way in during the day tomorrow, and then throughout the day on Saturday, more widespread storms across the area here, and those could last into Sunday and even Monday across the east side of the state. So throughout the night tonight, some of those showers will decrease, but look what happens to the northeast by tomorrow afternoon. That's our front banking up here, cranking up some more showers. Some of this extends back up into the four corners, where obviously they're very, very wet still. And then as we get into the day Saturday, another round of showers, but this is actually during the overnight hours. And you can see some storms around the I-25 corridor here, and then we break out with more coming up Saturday afternoon. Now, if you're looking for a bullseye location for a lot of the showers over the weekend, I think most of the action will be north of the I-40 corridor. So Albuquerque or Socorro or so northward should be the main areas to watch for more rain. Let's go region by region. Some showers and storms will continue in southern Colorado, and obviously that flood threat continues Saturday into Sunday. More showers, so we may not be out of the woods yet with the anima. 76 in Gallup, 78 in Farmington, and 79 in Grants. Not too bad for tomorrow. Less shower activity, but more clouds than the chance of a shower coming up for Saturday. Not as much action across the southwest over the next couple of days with temperatures in the low 90s. Over to the southeast, partly cloudy, an isolated storm, but look what happens late in the weekend and into the beginning of next week. More storms on the way. Northeast, it may never stop storming. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all days when we could see showers around the area. Northern Mountains, similar deal. We are going to be very active storm wise. Not necessarily as much tomorrow, but Saturday into Sunday looks pretty good for widespread scattered storms. 82 in Edgewood, 80 in Cedar Crest. Increasing clouds and some afternoon showers will be a possibility here in the metro area with temperatures in the mid 80s. Our best shot at grabbing a storm looks like it will be Saturday, but we could even grab one into the day on Sunday too. So, you guys, we keep this wet pattern in place. All right. Thank you, Mark.